everyone, it's Rosemary Morris from Rosemary Morris Art. Um, I thought I'd show you um, a journal that I've actually made for my husband. This was um, an old leather jacket that he kept for years and years and years. I think he bought it in the 1970s and it was really out of date and it had a big rip in the back of it. So I said, I was going to make him throw it out and he didn't want to. So I said, okay, I'll make a journal with it for you. So this is part of the patterning on the back of it. Um, then I went into his room and he has this beautiful Celtic buckle that he keeps on his desk and I took it. <laughs> I made a hole in the spine for the, it's got like a little uh, nail thing at the bottom and then it's just held on with this clip here. Um, onto the part that the belt goes through. So he can take it off if he wants to, but he's never used this as a belt. And I thought it was quite appropriate. So this is a Shakespearean um, journal. It's got little leather tabs on it with these amazing uh, things on it, which I thought were quite, I think they're Tim Holtz. Um, I thought they were quite appropriate. So all the images in it are from a Shakespearean diary. So it's got a lot of washi on it and it's got these um, metal shapes which I thought were quite appropriate with it. So he knows all the characters and um, another, oh, that's, that's another one with the washi. Another one of the things he loves are acorns and oak leaves. So I had this stamp that I bought years and years ago and I put it on all the pages. on the pages in different different ways I won't show you all the pages in the other signatures it's Henry the don't know what that is but you can work it out Midsummer Night's Dream my favorite these are Brad's along the bottom here that I thought went quite well I wanted to keep it quite masculine and then there's of a coin up there on some washi tape. It says, wake when some vile thing is near. <laughs> and of course it was bottom with a... And there's another um, brad. Another beautiful metal thing up there. And that's the end of the signature with another metal thing. And then I just, on the signature pages, I just put some pockets and that was from, I think that's from Graphic 45. And this was just from the, so I backed it with some paper that you can write on, but I didn't do that. Oh, it's a, um, I was trying to get it out. It's a pocket made out of a tag, so you can't get that out. Another metal thing up there. This was Graphic 45 as well. This, I forgot to say, it's actually three signatures, but in it there are two other journals that you can take out and just use. One of them, they're just held in with elastic. See, one's from here. And um, he's actually taken out and using it. Well, oh, he's using it. So this is just plain cream paper in there to to use. Here's William himself with a, another metal thing. And then on the back of that, again, I try to. I think these are graphic 45 as well. I try to pick out, that's a Brad. I try to pick out things that were sort of medieval looking or um, it's got the Renaissance on it. They're graphic 45 as well. And then that's an actual sketch that somebody did of how it was going to look on stage. Shylock, beautiful square ones, a bit of bling on there, he's got a bit of bling on his hat, won't go through all those pages. 
And then this is the back of that with another scene. This was actually the top of another picture that was too big for the book and I cut it off. So I thought I'd use it there. Another little corner, a bit of graphic 45. Another image from the book with paper on the back. And then he didn't know what I did. <laughs> There's a big compendium of um, Shakespeare's plays. It's huge and it's really heavy. And I use it in my art room here to actually weight things down when the glue's drying. So what I did was I went through and I tore pages out and used them because he was in the play King Lear when he was younger. And so I thought he'd like that beginning of King Lear. Um... And that's another graphic 45 with a quote from Shakespeare on it. Another corner for the metal things. This Lady Macbeth. Graphic 45. Another metal thing with a black gem in the middle of it. It's rather stunning. Oh, this, this is... Um, I used to make original dolls and I made the whole setting of Midsummer Night's Dream, which was massive, all the fairies in it, and Puck, I actually did in green. Um, and then I found this image and went, oh, it looks like my Puck. <laughs> so I put that in. Um, and that's, that's a little song that, um, that comes from the play. And that's another... Uh, illustration of Puck that somebody did did him as a, like a court jester so that was interesting they're all from that diary so if you've got interesting diaries don't throw them away use them <laughs> this is Sir Toby Belch <laughs> got these beautiful big black things on it yeah, I'm not very happy I think it's Othello and then this one, again another little poem. Oh, there's Puck with his ass's head on. And some more little things from Graphic 45. Lady Macbeth on the back. Rather romantic lady. Oh, no, I think it's Ophelia. Yeah, it's Ophelia. And then this, these washi tapes I thought went quite well with it. And, and then at the back here, there's a big pocket with some more images. And that's a graphic 45 one. Oh, this is another one of Macbeth because he was also in Macbeth. When shall we meet? Again, it's the, it's the witches cold, around the cauldron. I don't know whether he's realised that's what I did yet. I ripped up his book, but I bought it for him so I can do what I like with it, can't I? <laughs> uh, I think he does actually know. That's graphic 45 again. And he didn't mind because he thinks it's absolutely stunning. So there you go. Don't throw your leather coats away. Make them into a journal. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and the links below are to my Facebook page and my blog. Bye.